Hi, good morning. My name is Allison Tebow. I'm a licensed dietitian nutritionist, and today I'm walking you through my entire day of everything that I eat, drink, do, work, all that great stuff. I start to get up and get ready for some yoga. So I'm walking down the stairs to my office, my home office, for some yoga to start my day. I love starting my day with exercise. It just gets me going, my brain going. Positive energy, positive mood means I'm gonna have a great day and I just do a better job for my clients and it's really all about them. And I am going to give you a little bit, a little sneak peek into my home office, which has two heaters in it. Here's one going, there's the other. There is my desk. I worked late last night, so it's a little messy. And I'm gonna get some coffee. Hydrate, great way to start your day. But first, coffee. And I make the coffee in this percolator. Old school, we love it. Our coffee comes out delicious each time. And we keep our organic coffee beans in this container and we get it from Costco. I'm such a huge fan of Costco. If you guys know me, I go there all the time. The pricing is great. They have awesome options. And I also add cinnamon to my coffee. It helps to stabilize your blood sugar, helps to increase fat burn, but it's also full of antioxidants and it has anti-inflammatory properties. Um, we put the coffee beans in this coffee bean grinder. You can see the leftovers in there from last night. Oops. And there we go. Morning Java. Yum, super simple. Smells delicious. The cinnamon gives it a really nice kick too. as I wipe the sweat off my face. Uh, just to give you a little background, I've been practicing yoga for the past 19 years and it has completely changed my life, my mindset, how I love myself, how I love others, and just be centered so I have a great day. So the sun is starting to come out and it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day so I can't wait to go for a walk later. I just finished my yoga class with meditation, it's just something that I practice as often as I can, it just really brings me back. And you can see the remnants of my sweat on my yoga mat. And I am just ready to start my day and I'm gonna go ahead and make my shake. I tend to load up my smoothie with a bunch of stuff. Um, I love using cachava protein powder, really high protein, really high in fiber. I mean, it's full of all of these great ingredients and look at how much it meets your vitamin and mineral needs. It's so great. I also add chia seeds, extra protein, fiber, omega-3s, hemp seeds, protein, omega-3s, turmeric helps to reduce inflammation, moringa powder, which is a known adaptogen, allows your body to adapt to stress, along with these other sun potion products. I like E3 Live Blue Magic, which is spirulina, great for cleansing, cinnamon, which is great for your blood sugar, um, and also it helps to increase fat burn. Cacao powder, because I just love chocolate, and studies show how that helps to um, stimulate your feel-good hormones, and spinach for extra greens. I will be mixing them in my handy dandy Vitamix. Here it is, it sounds to add black pepper into your smoothie. I just do a couple of dashes because that helps to absorb the curcumin from the turmeric 2000% more. It dilates your blood vessels. Because the liver will quickly get rid of the curcumin, you wanna make sure that you completely absorb all of that good stuff. And just you know, add it in there very quickly. So right now I'm in between calls um, Zoom calls, actually, because of the quarantine, I don't really get to see people in person, which is actually fine. I actually love using Zoom because I can use a screen share, which allows me to share my screen, and I actually get a lot of work done. Clients love it, too, and, uh, you know, I still have that one-on-one, -on -one, which is great. So, 
um, time for my snack. I'm a little hungry. Um, after that smoothie I just had a few hours ago, it's time to refuel with protein and fiber and a bunch of other nutrition. I chose to have a raw ref bar. It's high in protein, high in fiber, super satiating, and it's delicious with clean ingredients. And no, I'm not getting paid for this. I just really love it. It's peanut butter and sea salt. You cannot go wrong with that, unless if you have you know, allergies to peanuts. Um, however, it was between that or this 88 Acres Bar Triple Berry. I'm in the mood for peanut butter. And I eat all the chocolate ones of the 88 Acres, so the Raw Red Bar one today. <laughs> and I also have my handy dandy water to keep me hydrated. Also with a diet high in fiber, you need to make sure you drink plenty of water as well to prevent constipation. And also the weather is starting to get warm out, um, so you need to make sure that you stay hydrated. Your body cannot survive without water. Your metabolism needs water. Your cells, your muscles, your tissues, your organs, your gastrointestinal system all need water. Your skin depends on water. Make sure you get your water in. Guys, talk about coincidence. I was just reading this study and of course I'm reading studies. I love learning. It just stimulates my brain. And if you teach me something, I will love you forever. Anyway, this study said drinking 17 ounces of water, which is one of these, right? Um, increases your resting metabolic rate by 10 to 30% for about an hour. That's ridiculous. That's a lot of extra fat and calories you can burn. So make sure you drink more water. And on another side note, if you don't catch me drinking water, I'm most likely drinking one of these spin drift. I love spin drift. I'm not getting paid for this, I just love it. Clean ingredients, if you're a fan of like LaCroix or one of those other, other flavored drinks, um, yeah, questionable ingredients, I'm not really so much of a fan, but Spindrift is full of clean stuff. Real, real, real stuff. And once you switch over to the good stuff, the real stuff, your taste buds change. And if you ever go back to other fake stuff, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I ever tolerated that stuff. I hear all the time from my clients. Try it. This is pretty much how I spend hours of my day checking out my clients food journals assessing making phone calls zoom calls just doing follow-up work with them um, best part of my day is the time that I spend with all of my clients love my job is it even a job I don't know so I'm hungry again. It's been a couple hours since I had my bar and now it's time for my late lunch. And I'm in the mood for something creamy, delicious of course, and something really, really easy and quick before I have to go back to work. So I'm thinking a Siggy's yogurt with a bunch of toppings on it, so stay tuned. My day was a lot busier than I expected it to be. I had back-to-back -back meetings and phone calls and just a lot of things came up. So for lunch, I'm having this Siggy's plant-based yogurt. I can't tolerate dairy, so this is perfect for me. And you know, it's full of healthy fats, protein, 10 grams, which is awesome. And look at those clean ingredients. I love this flavor. It's one of my favorites. I'm also gonna add powdered almond butter for the extra protein. It just gives it really great flavor as well. Here's all the nutritional information, and it's just almonds, a little bit of sugar, not much, only two grams, and a little bit of salt. I'm also gonna add hemp seeds for extra protein and omega-3s. I just love coconut, so I'm gonna add some of that in there, also full of healthy fats as well. But this is a super quick lunch for me. Uh, I'm gonna do four tablespoons of the PB2 just to give it a little more protein kick. I usually have lots of extra veggies in the fridge and then I just prepare fish or eggs or some type of protein with it. However, I ate all my veggies last night. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing for lunch. Yum, it kind of looks like ice cream, doesn't it? I'm just gonna mix everything together in this bowl and it's gonna be creamy, delicious, so good. I can't wait to enjoy it. And I'll catch you guys later. I'm back and I'm out on my walk in this beautiful park. You can see the water behind me. It's just so nice out. And I try to go for a walk anytime the sun is out. 
Um, I try to carve as much time out of, my, out of my day as I can to just use this time to relax, collect myself. I listen to webinars and podcasts because I love learning new things. So it's my opportunity to keep up with the times because nutrition and food is always changing, right? So it's really important to keep up with all of the new stuff that's out there, all of the new research. It just keeps me on my A game. Also, I love going out for walks. It's just great for anxiety, stress relief, and it just allows my mind to recollect. When I was 13, I was diagnosed with anxiety disorder and my father was like, oh, no way. You know, the doctor wanted me to start Xanax and my father said, nope, you are doing yoga. I was like, what, yoga? It's like this 13 year old girl, right? And I just wanted to hang out with my friends. And so I started doing yoga. I'm 32 now and I've been doing yoga for the past 19 years. Never looked back. It changed my life. And now I use walking and exercise and meditation, yoga, all of these tools to control my anxiety and stress. Because if I don't, you know, continue to practice those things, I notice, you know, my hormones are out of whack. Um, you know, my food cravings go crazy. Just, you know, whole spiral thing, things of, ha of things can happen. And it's, um, it just brings me back to feeling good. And when I feel good, I do such a better job with my work. I'm more attentive, I'm more personable, and I'm there with my clients. I can feel the difference, and I can give my work 100% of me. Dinner's in the making. I'm so excited because ooh, my fiance's right here. Hello. And he's making me one of my favorites on the grill. I can't handle the grill. I'm kind of scared of the grill. But here, let me show you. Ooh, it just spit. Soft shell crab, it's in season. We're so excited. We found it. And I can't wait to show you guys the final product. Timer's going off. Let me show you what's in the oven. Can you see that? So we have chicken Murphy on the top and herb roasted sweet potatoes on the bottom, which you can find the recipe for that on my cooking YouTube channel. And I'm gonna turn that timer off because it's gonna drive us all crazy. We also have some air fryer asparagus. Obviously made in the air fryer makes like so easy. So if you ever want a tutorial on using an air fryer, please let me know. And we have sauteed mushrooms with green onions and a super ripe uh, avocado. I'm going to cut this baby in half, sprinkle some sesame seeds on there and add it to my dinner. I wanted to share how beautiful this avocado looks on the inside. It's so perfect. Cannot wait to enjoy this with my dinner. It's full of healthy fats, loaded with fiber and tons of vitamins and minerals. Yum. Here is the chicken Murphy with onions and peppers. Look at how delicious that looks, right? So nice. Check out how amazing these herb roasted sweet potatoes look. I wish you guys can smell it and I wish I can share this with you. But I can share the recipe. So make sure you head over to the YouTube cooking channel to find it. Check out my beautiful dish. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. I cannot wait to eat it. Okay, just a little tip with the other half of the avocado. If you're not gonna eat it, keep the pit in because that keeps the avocado from browning. Interesting, right? So we just had dinner and I pretty much cleaned up most of the kitchen and I'm in the middle of meal prepping for tomorrow, which is a really busy day for me. I'm at the hospital and then I have meetings the rest of the day. So here is what I have planned for lunch tomorrow. I used leftover veggies from dinner tonight. 
So there's asparagus, mushrooms, and scallions. And I also made some sauteed spinach and scrambled eggs. Kind of like my typical leftover veggies and I add protein. Okay, I have a couple more meetings I have to do before I'm done for today. And then I can go meditate, get a really good night's sleep and prepare for a busy day tomorrow. It's the last meeting of the night and one of my interns James Hi. is here. We're just waiting for my last client to jump on and then we can kick back and enjoy the rest of our night. Okay, so day is done. Goodbye office. Time to go upstairs, brush my teeth, wash my face, do some meditation and get a good night's sleep. At least seven to nine hours of quality sleep is really important. Okay, so now for skincare, I'm very, very particular about what I put on my skin. Your skin is your largest organ. It's going to absorb everything, right? Also, what you put in your mouth, you're going to ingest, so I'm careful about that. Uh, so for my mouth, my toothpaste, I've been using this stuff. Can you see that? Um, I actually just started using this stuff. I uh, have been for years using earth paste. And you know what? My dentist has been telling me my teeth is great. Uh, no cavities, I'm perfect. So I'm not changing my habits for anybody. And for deodorant, I use Agent Natur. It's coconut oil base and I love it. Nobody has ever said that I smell bad or nobody has ever complained, so I'm just gonna keep using that. Don't mind my dirty mirror, sorry. And my face wash, I use Chanel. I just love it, it makes my face feel so good. And for my body wash, I just keep it simple. I use a bar and this is what I use, sage. It's full of essential oils, clean ingredients. Sorry. It smells so good and it just makes me feel so good. I like to think that gives me a good night's sleep too. Anyway, that's my skincare routine. Okay, I'm in bed and before I go to sleep, I always put this, this stuff on. It's essential oils and it's supposed to help you sleep. So what I do is I put all over my forehead or on my um where your hair, your hairline, <laughs> that's what it's called. And my temples um, underneath, right here and behind my ears. And then I put on Michael Seely on YouTube, who is a hypnotist and he helps with sleep and meditation. And I have the ben best night's nice sleep ever, every time I listen to him. So that's a nighttime ritual. And I'm very much looking forward to that after this crazy busy day. And thanks so much for tuning in. Catch you next time.